Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. And that will be me, a little one at a table for two. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you never have to go to the nail salon ever again. You save your money because you can do your nails at home. So first you need a nail drill or a nail file which you can buy at the dollar store or your local beauty supply store. Then you need some alcohol and some alcohol wipes or a paper towel. Then you're going to wipe your nails off. This removes the shine from your natural nail. This is what's going to make your nails last for weeks. After you're done wiping your nails off, then you're going to take your primer, which you can get from Amazon or your local beauty supply store. I'll put the link in the description below. A little goes a long way. You don't need a lot. And you're just going to add it to where your cuticles are. And boom, done with the prep. So then you're going to need your nail tips. You can use long nail tips. I'm using extra long nail tips today because I want a super extra set for Valentine's Day. And then you're just going to size your nail tips. You want the tips to fit your entire nail. You want to make sure the whole nail is covered. Then you're going to go in with your glue. I got this glue from Amazon as well, which I will also link in the description below. Then you're just going to add a tiny drop of glue. This glue sticks really strong, so you don't need a lot. Like I said earlier, a little goes a long way. Then you're just going to slide the nail tips onto your nail. Sliding them helps to prevent air bubbles, which helps to prevent lifting. And we want these to last so that we don't have to go to the salon ever again. So once you're done with that, it's time to decorate. I'm going to be using nail foil glue and nail foils to create this flower design, which I also got from Amazon. You can find it on my Amazon storefront, which I'm going to link in the description below. After you put the glue on, you're going to cure it for 60 seconds. You have to cure it for 60 seconds for it to work. Another trick for nail foils to work is to rub it. It until you can't rub it anymore then rip it off and you have your design and you can keep sticking on if it doesn't stick all the way and then yeah just have fun with it I actually have so much fun doing my nails at home it's a good hobby a good pastime and you save like $1,500 a year by doing your nails at home like who doesn't want to save money and if you guys try this design send it to me you can send it to me on Instagram at Alicia Monet or at aliciamonet.cosmetics. That's where I post most of my nail stuff. So if you want to send it to me on there, that's perfectly fine. But yeah, I want to see like how your design turned out. And if you did something different, like what you did. Now I'm going in with my gel polish. I'm actually using Beatles gel polish, a light pink. I actually changed my mind last minute and I decided to mix two pinks together. So you'll see that in a second. And then I'm adding gold sparkles to the ends of each nail on top of the flowers. So now I'm mixing a dark pink and a light pink together to create like a marble effect. I thought that that would be a little cuter than using just the light pink. I wanted to spice it up a little bit. And I'm actually glad that I did. This made the nails pop. Super cute. I love this design. And then I just added the dark pink to my pinky and my thumb as well. Now I'm just going in with my top coat and then I'm actually just using the top coat to put my jewels on. But if you have rhinestone glue, which you can get on Amazon or at your beauty supply store, I recommend using those. And then I'm just adding my rhinestones. So yeah, you guys can just keep watching and see how it turns out. And I actually got the charms off of Timu, so I will link that in the description below as well. But let me know what you guys think. I love the charms. I love the hearts, the bubbles, the bows, the roses. They're so cute. And they were very cheap, like $2. So you can't beat that. But let me know what you guys think about the nails. And let me know what else you guys want to see from me. I absolutely loved how these nails turned out. They were so cute. I got so many compliments on them. And I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did and enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.